Hey guys, I just got back from my ride on the Ibis Ritmo, Santa Cruz High Tower, and Evil the Offering. Such a rad day riding bikes. Tyler and Zach were with me, and it was so fun just to, to swap from bike to bike. Before I get into this like quick uh, review of these bikes, I just wanna do a quick thanks and shout out to the bike shops who made today's ride possible. Uh, first of all, the Evil Offering, we picked it up from the sports den in Salt Lake City, Utah. I didn't even know Evil had a retail brick and mortar store here in Salt Lake City. So if you're local, go into Sports Den, talk to Schmitty, he can get you on an Evil. And then we picked up the Ibis Ritmo, of course, from who else then? Salt Cycles, the bike shop that I go to. Salt Cycles, got Ibis, they always have these on tap. You can go in there and demo them, talk to Chris. Or swing by Go Ride in Draper if you want to test a Santa Cruz Hightower. They're the Santa Cruz dealer here in Draper. Talk to Chris or Manny. Uh, they know a ton about the brand and can get you set up. So thanks a lot, uh, guys, for letting us take these bikes out and do this head-to-head -head video. Um, man, I guess I should probably start out by just, you know, you guys are probably wondering which one I liked the best. Um, for those of you who watch the channel, you'll know that I've been riding and personally owned the Ibis Ritmo for the last six months. So I am well acquainted with that bike and really appreciate all the characteristics that that bike is. That said, the last two days riding that Evil Offering was just like so much fun. That bike does not let up. It just, the harder you push it, it really responds well. It's a really lively bike. Um, but then when you're jumping it or descending like super chundery sections, it's very calm and composed. So that Delta Link suspension on that Evil Offering is super unique. I really liked it. Between the three bikes, that might be the direction I would go. I thought it was super fun, but I also love the Ibis Ritmo. So let's get into this real quick. Which one climbs the best? I think I give the climbing edge to the Ibis Ritmo, but it's just... We're splitting hairs here, guys. On a one hour sustained climb, I don't know that one's gonna be several minutes ahead of the other, given the same rider putting out the same amount of wattage on the bike. I think it's maybe a couple 30 seconds or something different, if, if that. But there is something smoother and easier pedaling, just even on the, on the not climbing sections, just pedaling the Ibis Ritmo just feels really good there's a ton of support up top in that stroke at about the sag point and i think that's what attributes to the to the really good climbing characteristics of that bike the other two bikes the uh evil offering and the the high tower they're both good climbing too but but i would say the edge goes to the ripmo in the climbing department um the other two i would say are about the same maybe the high tower slightly better climber but i would be fine taking any of them on a long three four hour ride 25 miles or whatever and and ultimately these bikes are made to descend and to really offer you offer the rider a lot of um confidence and be able to smash any terrain that's the idea if you want a really good climbing bike these three are not it get a shorter travel more uh race geometry oriented bike for climbing so that's a different topic for a different day um Next, I'll talk about jumping and just like overall um, confidence through chundery sections. I would say for me personally, the high tower gave me the most confidence uh, doing big jumps that are a little uh, at my limit of where I'm comfortable jumping. Um, also going really high speed through real chundery sections with little drops or, or different sections like that. I would say the high tower for me had the most confidence planted to the ground fill like when i landed i felt very composed landing off of the jumps and um i thought that was the the the, the most confidence inspiring um the other two bikes are about the same um but but still through those jump sections the most playful in the air was the evil offering i just felt so comfortable on that bike um it, it, it was a more lively feeling bike. Even on takeoff, it just felt this pop of explosion. And, and the Ibis Ritmo is kind of the same way. You just feel this really uh, unique pop when you, when you go off the lip of the jump. Um, so yeah, I mean, they all descend really, really well, but um, the, the offering and the Ritmo have a more snappy feel to it, despite the fact that we really worked on that uh, Super Deluxe on the high tower, trying to get it to, to feel a little more uh, snappy um as per santa cruz website i think we we put in exact rider weight so i had 148 pounds of psi in the super deluxe on the high tower um, so i don't think i needed to have more air pressure i think we had the right air pressure it, it, sag looked good and everything but uh, it does have a more muted planted to the ground feel so if these three bikes are in the running for you 
and most of your riding is this really high speed chundery type descents, you might really like demoing that high tower from Go Ride and and really that, that might be a good fit for you. Um, on the slower speed, really tight, twisty, turny trails, um, the Ibis Ritmo is, is real snappy feeling, um, but the offering's right there with it, and the offering has this more supportive end stroke. So coming down through a, a fast section into a real sharp turn, I feel like the, the platform of that suspension just rails through the turn and pops you right back out. Um, Again, we're splitting hairs here. These bikes are all really good. It's such a good time to be a mountain biker with so many good brands making really good bikes. Um, one other thing I'll mention also, just cleaning the bikes. We ended up riding with a bit of mud and, and stuff on the trail today. Um, so the bikes got a little dirty. Cleaning the bikes, the high tower and the Ibis Ritmo were both clogged up with dirt and, and stuff more around the rear shock where it mounts to the rear triangle. It just caught a ton of dirt and crap in there. Whereas the Evil Offering was much more free and clear of, um, of any of that dirt and stuff. So if that bothers you, if you're riding wet terrain, that's maybe something to consider also. Um, yeah, I, I thought they were all incredible. The uh, Evil Offering was really a unique feel to this bike. It just, there's something about it that just, uh, I just spoke to me and that's the the value and the importance of demoing on your own if you can guys if you can get out and ride the couple bikes that you're looking at it's going to save you in the long run being on the right bike and then also I know we do these bike reviews but the reality is is a lot of the way a bike rides for you comes down to how you fit on that bike everyone fits a little bit differently each each one have very similar geometry numbers but they're also just ever so slightly different and that really impacts how you feel out there on the trail um, you can move around really freely on this bike i'm five foot eight all the bikes we demoed today were mediums uh, tyler's a little short i think he's five seven and zach's five ten so he sometimes rides a large and sometimes rides a medium but um I'll tell you right away, Zach's favorite bike uh, after, at the end of the ride, uh, he didn't want to be filmed. At least I got the impression he didn't want to be filmed. And he said the Evil Offering for him was the bike. He loved it. He's 5'10", size medium, Evil Offering. Loved it. Uh, Tyler was kind of leaning toward the Evil Offering or the Ibis Ripley also, or excuse me, Ritmo also. And uh, for me, I think because of the, um, the newness of the evil offering i really really liked it um the novelty of riding that bike for me was it really spoke to me the last two days um so great that the sports down here in salt lake city is a evil dealer head in there and talk to to schmidt and, and get set up on one of those demo bikes and then um in terms of just overall confidence it's hard to beat that high tower and so they're all great bikes i don't think you could go wrong um like i said awesome time to be a mountain biker so many good options uh Thanks for watching today, guys. And again, thanks to the bike shops who, who put us out on these bikes. Uh, get out and demo these on your own if you can. I know uh, there's a, a venue called Outer Bike that I've been to a number of times uh, all over the country if you're here in the States uh, where you can go to Outer Bike and ride. I think all three of these brands, yeah, all three of those brands are at Outer Bike most of the time. So maybe consider Outer Bike. I'll put a link to that in the description. Which is your favorite bike? Do you have one that speaks to you? Um, I'd love to hear it in the comments down below. If you have any questions about any of the bikes, uh, something that I missed or maybe didn't think to talk about, uh, ask it in the, in the questions down below. We're going to have a live stream also here live on YouTube, uh, probably in two days. I'll, I'll link it in the description down below or I'll, I'll annotate it in the description down below what day we're going to do that. But uh, excited to be with you guys on the live stream and, and ask me any questions you want about the three bikes. That's a great way to really get the most information out of this anyway, because I don't always remember to tell you everything what you, you might be wondering about. So uh, thanks guys, we'll see you at the live stream. Okay, I'm back on the high tower now. Uh, Tyler's on the Ripmo. Zach's on the Evil Offering. And man, what a great head to head. These bikes are just so capable.